Now we'll talk about raising a product to a power. And look at this expression. We have a times b, that's a product. a and b are multiplied together, and that thing, in parentheses there, that a times b, is squared. Well, what does that mean? Well, for something to be squared, that means it's multiplied by itself. So in this case, it's this thing, the a times b, that is multiplied by itself. So this has to equal a times b times a times b. And you should be able to see that that simplifies to a squared times b squared. Take note that we had a power of 2 here. And after we work it out, the a and the b both end up being raised to a power of 2. And that is pretty much the point. Let's look at a couple of additional examples here xy cubed. Well, if it's xy that's getting cubed, that's going to be xy times xy times xy. And you should be able to see that that will be x to the power of 3 times y to the power of 3. And again, notice, this product, xy, was raised to a power of 3, and both the x and the y end up getting a power of 3. And the same thing will happen down here. 2a to the power of 4. That's going to equal 2a times 2a times 2a times 2a, which will be 2 to the 4th times a to the 4th. And we could simplify that as 16a to the 4th, because 2 to the 4th is 16. But the point here is to understand this. We had 2a raised to the power of 4. And both the 2 and the a ended up getting an exponent of 4. And with that in mind, we can state a general rule. And the general rule is this. When raising a product to a power, and again, if you're taking notes with the student lecture notes, you can write this in in the space there. When, ra when raising a product, to a power, the exponent gets applied to each factor. The exponent gets applied to each factor. When raising a product to a power, the exponent gets applied to each factor. And we can state that idea mathematically using variables. I can say a times b to the power of n. And a and b there could be any number or any variables or any mathematical expressions. And so could n. a times b to the power of n is always going to equal a to the power of n times b to the power of n. That exponent n gets applied to each of the factors. And with that in mind, let's work some, some more examples. And you should be able to work these fairly quickly. Without working them all out in detail, you should be able to just apply this concept to go straight to the answer. And here we are. 2x cubed will be 2 cubed times x cubed. And we can take that one step further because 2 cubed is 8. So we can, that's, we can say that's equal to 8x cubed. In the next example, a, b, c to the power of 4 could be written as a to the power of 4 times b to the power of 4 times c to the power of 4. Here we have three factors, and the exponent 4 gets applied to each of the three factors. And it would work for four factors or five factors. As long as everything in there is multiplied together, the exponent gets applied to each of the factors. And in this one, we have 5ab squared, so the answer will be 5 squared times a squared times b squared. And again, we know that 5 squared is 25, so we can take this one step further and say this is 25 a squared b squared. And the last one is a little bit harder, but you should be able to follow this. 6 x squared y cubed. Three factors in there. The 6, the x squared, and the y cubed. And each of those three things 
will be squared. So I'm going to have 6 squared times my x squared squared. So I'll write that x squared squared times my y cubed squared. So I'll write that times y cubed squared. Now let's work that out. 6 squared is 36. This x squared squared will be x to the fourth. And the y cubed squared will be y to the sixth. So the answer is 36x to the fourth, y to the sixth.